now the latest from the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for May 21st. Well, even though there's no tropical storms active at this time, there's a lot of activity with areas of interest on day 141 of the year so far. May 21st, uh, so don't be fooled by what you're seeing on our first slide because there's plenty more besides. First of all in the Atlantic, an 80% chance now for the Western Atlantic system out over the open ocean uh, east of Bermuda and a just issued 20% chance in the Western Gulf of Mexico for a potential tropical cyclone that could form and get towards Texas in the next five days, uh, or short, more shortly than that, I should say, 11 days till hurricane season. In the eastern Pacific, uh, the uh, area of interest that was in the far eastern part of the basin has been uh, undesignated now, so no areas of interest here. Moving into the western Pacific, um, we have two areas also to look at here, two low chances, a 30% in the uh, South China Sea, those chances are going up. Uh, probably inevitable that will form and further out to sea a 10% chance near the Marshall Islands that will be heading towards the uh, uh, the uh, oh dear the Mariana Islands eventually and in the uh, Indian Ocean uh, we have a 80% chance in the Bay of Bengal not far from the Andaman Islands and that could develop into another major cyclone for India or Bangladesh in the next five days that's something to watch out for very closely Looking at the Atlantic right now, you can see those two systems active. Uh, some rotation in both of them perhaps, uh, more so in the one on the right hand side, the one that has the higher chance of development. That could become a subtropical cyclone as it uh, spirals around Bermuda. It could deliver some uh, strong winds there. In the eastern Pacific, looking fairly quiet, dry air quite prominent there in the main part of the basin. Uh, but a few little areas down in the intertropical convergence zone, but no rotation is apparent. Further towards the west there, over the central Pacific, very quiet there, nothing going on. In the western Pacific, this is how things look right now. You can see the beginnings of what could be potentially those two systems, but nothing concrete just yet. Um, the models expect that they'll form later on in the model period, that's why they've got low chances. The south Pacific, that area was marked as a 10% for quite some time. We've now uh, dismissed that one. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to become anything. So, Bay of Bengal is somewhere that we're going to be watching for the next few days. You can see it there, the center, uh, center north part of the screen. Um, a lot of monsoonal patterns there, uh, nothing happening just yet, we'll have to watch closely. This is rapid scan of the Invest 90L, uh, which is the one east of Bermuda. It's 580 miles east-northeast and we will have this rapid scan imagery uh, as well as all the other imagery on this system live on our 24 7 automated stream sea surface temperatures in the eastern pacific are fairly warm around 30 degrees celsius off the coast of mexico underneath that dry air pool right now um, still got some warming up to do out in the open ocean the atlantic warming up as well the gulf of mexico we've been saying for quite a while uh, has been trending warm early on in this season and the gulf stream off the coast of florida so it wouldn't be a huge surprise to see an early season system forming in the western gulf so that's something to really watch out for this 20 percent chance the indian ocean is very warm 30 degrees plus pushing 32 actually in the bay of bengal so that's a real cause for concern when we're looking towards this system that's developing in the western pacific the south china sea also very warm 30 to 31 degrees and out over the open waters especially near the marshall islands around 28 so a little bit cooler that system may take its time to form uh, even if it does at all, I should say. Both of them are likely to become Category 1 uh, typhoons later on down the line. That's the latest indications that we're getting. Anomalies, you can see the Bay of Bengal very warm compared to average. Uh, also watching out the coast of China, Hong Kong into the uh, Gulf of Tonkin uh, off the uh, Vietnam coast as well. The Atlantic, the southern gulf above average, the, the northern gulf slightly below average along the coast of the US. So maybe the systems will really weaken before reaching land as it is. 
Anyway, on this day, on May 21st, 1976, we had a much worse situation. We had a subtropical storm that had formed in the Gulf of Mexico just now, and we had two Category 4 storms that were making landfall right now. Olga, which was hitting Luzon and was going to stall there for about three or four days, and Pamela, which delivered a pummeling to Guam on this day, making landfall there as a Category 4 before moving on towards the northwest. Fascinating times they were in the Western Pacific. Thankfully, not today. Well, in the Atlantic, the first name is Anna, and should we need it, the second name will be Bill, if it happens anytime soon. In the Eastern Pacific, the next name is Blanca, followed by Carlos. In the Central Pacific, we're still waiting for Hone. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list there, list 4, is Choi Wan, followed by Koguma. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name is Yas. And with 24 storms around the world so far, it's been an interesting start to the year. In the West, in the Australian region, the next name is Paddy, followed by Ruby, the Southwest Indian Ocean, Kanga, if it forms before the end of June, and in the South Pacific, the next name is Cody. That's all for now. We'll have another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow. <laughs>